Welcome to Shape Software. In this video tutorial, I'll cover managing departments within the Shape Software system. In Shape, we allow you to have multiple departments that may have different workflows. So for example, if you have a sales department that handles one aspect of a record's workflow and a billing department that handles the other aspects of a workflow, you can establish those workflows within the settings page. Let's go ahead and open up this sales department. Once you open up a department, you can see what the workflow tabs are that a user needs to go through in each contact type. So I'm going to go ahead and open up prospects. And you can see here that intake, notes, appointments, follow up, etc. These are the workflow tabs within a sales department for the prospects contact type. These workflow tabs here reflect the same thing that you'll be seeing if you open up a prospect. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what that looks like. So here you can see intake, notes, appointments, follow up, and you can see the rest of the workflow tabs that were in the department settings page. If I ever needed to get rid of some of these tabs or rearrange them in a better flow that works for my company, I can go ahead and jump back into the settings pages under department workflows, and I can rearrange them and delete tabs accordingly. So let's go ahead and try it out. If I open up prospects and at this point, if it's a prospect, I'm probably not going to be invoicing them quite yet. So I'm going to get rid of payments, invoicing, time log, and going to rearrange this with the engagement letter a little bit further up. Um, get rid of a few more of these. So now that I've trashed some of the tabs and rearranged the order, once I go into prospects, and I'm gonna open up the same record, and you can see that the changes that I made in the settings pages are now reflected in this department workflow. I just showed you how to manipulate existing departments within your system. I'm now going to show you how to create a new department and manipulate it the same way. To add a new department, you go to the settings pages in the gradient navigation bar and navigate to the department workflows settings page. To add a new department, you press the add department button in the upper right hand corner and you can title the department whatever you want. I'm going to call this one billing. When you press submit, then you're able to start building your workflows. Now you can just open up the different contact types and you can build your workflow. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete the not needed tabs for the billing department. I'm going to keep this one really simple. So this one's just going to be intake, quote, invoicing, and payments. And I'm going to show you how you can see the difference between departments as an admin user. So you can see here just super simple workflow. When I go back into prospects, and I'm going to open up Matt Smith again, here's how you can switch between department workflows. As you can see here, you don't see a difference in the last workflow that I created because I'm in the sales department drop down here. If I switch to billing, now I just have the intake, quote, invoicing, and payments. So as an admin, you can switch between departments to see how your assigned users are working this record. If a user is assigned to a particular department, they will not be able to toggle between their different, the different workflows. They'll only be able to see their flow that they're assigned to. However, as an admin, you do have this ability to switch between different departments. 
Shape software is unique in the fact that if you have multiple departments within your settings, you can have multiple users assigned to the same record. As you can see here in this assigned users dropdown, you can assign one person from the sales department and then another person to the billing department. Um, you do have to have users assigned to those departments in order to select them here. So let me show you where you can do that in the Manage Users page. If you go into Settings and Manage Users, you can assign users to different departments. Um, you can also assign them to multiple departments. So with this legal manager, I'm going to assign them to both sales and billing. And I'm going to save. And then if I go back into prospects, back into Matt Smith, hit the assigned users drop down. Now I have manager legal as another user that I can sign, assign to this single record. As you can see with the department settings pages that we have within Shape, it allows you to scale and have a lot of flexibility within your system at your fingertips. If you do need to add any tabs that are not available in the department workflow options, then reach out to your onboarding specialist, your account manager, or you can send an email to support at setshape.com.